folks, it's Teresa from Stringfield Ridge Farm. Um, I want to show you a recipe that my mom has made for years and years. Um, and all my kids love it. Most of the grandkids love it. <laughs> but uh, it is in my mom's cookbook. I made this cookbook for my mom years ago. Um, and I uh, had her write down a lot of the recipes that she used over and over. My mom was a really good cook. My dad, who I called Pappy, my Pappy was a really good cook, and uh, he made the best homemade biscuits ever. And um, Lee actually learned how to make those biscuits just like my Pappy did, and uh, we've got that uh, video. Uh, I will link that video at the end of this one and in the description below if you wanna see those homemade biscuits just like my Pappy used to make. And uh, there's lots of recipes in my mom's cookbook that I put together for her. Uh, so um, it's got different sections in it. The best section that everybody seems to love in here is wild game. There is a wild game section. But what we're gonna do today is her uh, squash casserole recipe. I don't know if she made this up herself. I don't know where she might've gotten the recipe. But uh, most of my life, she made this squash casserole that is so good. And, um, and all my kids loved it. Um, so uh, they, my kids always want to have it for any family get together that we have. And uh, so uh, one of my daughters learned how to make it pretty good. And uh, I finally, <laughs> I am not the greatest cook. I am not a good cook like my mama or my pappy. But, uh, but I do enjoy making uh, casseroles and things like that, that you can just throw everything together. And um, uh, I like soup recipes and things. You'll see a lot of soups on my channel. Um, so, uh, and uh, Lee likes to cook, but he mostly likes to grill. Um, so you'll see stuff like that on our channel uh, in previous videos. But today, I want to show you how to make my mama's squash casserole that to me and my family, me and my kids, uh, is the best squash casserole ever. So, here you can see the page is well used. <laughs> But, uh, so the, there's the squash casserole recipe at the top. And the very last thing it says is a helpful hint um, for variation, use hamburger instead of sausage. You could use about any meat you want it to. We love it with sausage. So that's what we use as sausage. You can also do it with hamburger meat or whatever you have actually. So, um, the recipe calls for, and I, and I will put this recipe written out in the description below. So you're not gonna remember all this, but if you look in the description below, you will find the recipe printed out. Um, it calls for three cups of cooked squash, uh, one medium cooked onion, one pound of browned sausage, grated cheese, salt and pepper to taste, one can of cream of mushroom soup, one cup of cracker crumbs. We like to use the uh, Ritz crackers. Uh, one, uh, no, half cup of evaporated milk and one egg. You mix all that together except for the cheese. Cook it 30 minutes at 350. Top it with the cheese and cook it again until the cheese melts. That's it. Simple recipe. So, I'm going to go through this with you a little bit though. And uh, so first off, I've got my um, sausage. This is um, just a Kroger ground sausage. So it is actually the same as one of the small uh, rounds of sausage. I thought it looked like it was more, but I think it actually says one pound. Yes, it does. So it's the same as one of the little round of sausage that you buy uh, in a sleeve. Also, I, I, haven't, I haven't browned that yet, and I haven't cooked my squash yet. Now, I have fresh squash. This is way better with fresh yellow squash. And I do have some of that, but I need it to get some out of the freezer because 
I am currently putting more squash in the freezer, so I decided to get out uh, a couple of packs of squash from last year. So I've got two packs of that I'll be cooking, and then I've got my onions. Also would be better fresh probably, but I'm using some I had in the freezer. So that's what I'm going with. Uh, my can of cream of mushroom soup. I've got to get out my evaporated milk. So uh, it calls for a half of a cup of evaporated milk. And uh, there's usually about a cup in one of the little uh, cans. So I use my half a cup, pour the rest of it in a mason jar and put it in the refrigerator and use it again soon um, to use that up. So, uh, so I'm going to get started by browning my sausage and cooking my squash, and then I'll come back. All right, there, we're back, folks. We've got our um, sausage browned up. We've got our squash cooked. And, all right, there's all of that. You just put all this together. That's one thing I love about this recipe. You just throw it all together. Uh, here's my cream of mushroom soup going in. And a little salt and pepper. I'm just gonna get a little sprinkle of salt, a little sprinkle of pepper. There we go. My onions. I like onions, so I'm putting probably more onions than it calls for. Anyway, one egg going in. And a half of cup. Oh, I should have had my glasses on. Half a cup of evaporated milk. Right there. Going in. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir before I put this crackers in there. But I usually don't put very much onion in it because some of the kids don't like a lot of onion in it and I used more onion than, you know, it calls for because I like a lot of onion and we don't have a family get together. I had just decided to get this out uh, because I needed to use up some of that older squash and that's why I'm doing this and I thought I would take y'all along and let you see. Now that is pretty runny so I may have to add the other crackers I think. Yeah I think I will have to add the other crackers after all because I think it's going to be pretty runny. Um, maybe I'll just add If I could get it open, I would add maybe half of the rest, so it's not quite as many crackers. Let's see what that does. If that dries that up a little more, I will be, uh, I'll leave it. Yeah, I think that'd be fine. Yeah, I'm really bad about following directions. I really am. Lee always says that I think if a little, <laughs> if a recipe calls for a little bit of something I really, really like, I'll add more of it because I like it, and then that ruins the recipe. And yes, I tend to do that quite often. So in this case, I'm not adding, but I think it's okay. All right, that's what we're gonna do. All right, and so I'm going to spray this pan just a little bit, just a glass casserole dish. I just sprayed that a little bit. I'm gonna turn my oven on 350, get that going. Y'all see how easy this is? This is so easy and it's so delicious. So get this in here. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. It's got a good thick consistency. So there we go. All right, now the last time I made this, I made it with good fresh, very fresh onions, very fresh um, yellow squash, and um, the kids loved it. Uh, we had uh, 
a birthday party. No, 4th of July. We had 4th of July not long ago over at my daughter's house and I brought squash casserole and everything was fresh out of the garden and they just loved it. One of my daughters said, uh, said, I hate to say this, but this might be better than Granny's. I think they just hadn't had a good fresh one in a while because I put um, yellow squash in the freezer and then get it out later and onions in the freezer and you know, but this last time, uh, uh, 4th of July, I had all fresh stuff and followed the recipe carefully and uh, I actually made a double. I doubled the recipe and made a big old pot, a big old uh, bigger squash cast, a bigger casserole dish of it. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what I done, but one of the kids said um, it might be better than Granny's. <laughs> so there you go. That's all you do. You stick this in the oven for 30 minutes and then you top it with shredded cheese and stick it back in the oven just long enough for the cheese to melt. And that's it, y'all. Easy peasy. Y'all gotta do this. So you gotta try it. And if you have fresh yellow squash coming out of the garden right now, oh, yummy. Best time for it. Uh, and you probably have some good fresh onions, uh, so it will be even better. Uh, like I said, you can use hamburger meat if you want to. We prefer it with the sausage. And I'm fixing to stick this in the oven and be back in 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes is up. I'm going to show you uh, before I put the cheese on it. There it is. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. So good. And then I shredded some cheese. I had a block of cheese. I shredded the whole block up. If I don't use it all, I'll put it in a, a, a mason jar and put it in the refrigerator. I like to I like to shred my own cheese when I can. Sometimes it's just not convenient. It would be good to get block cheese and shred it up and put it in a plastic bag or a mason jar and have in the refrigerator because when you buy shredded cheese that's already shredded, they put extra stuff on there to keep it from sticking together. So uh, anytime I can shred my own, I try to do that. It's not very convenient, I know. And uh, we still buy shredded cheese, even though we know it's got stuff on it to keep it from sticking together. I like to shred mine, but it's just not convenient. This time I did shred it, and uh, this is a whole block. Uh, I'm gonna sprinkle this on the top, stick it back in the oven for just a few minutes, three to five minutes uh, to melt the cheese, and then it'll be done. All right, that cheese is melted. Yummy. I did go ahead and use all the cheese <laughs> because why not? And I'm gonna go ahead and dip into it. I normally would let it cool a little bit before I dip into it, but I gotta show you. <clears throat> so, gotta show you. Yeah, it needs to cool just a little before you dip into it. I'm not gonna, just so I can show you how good and yummy. And I am so ready to eat some. Uh, while I was cooking it, my oldest daughter called and um, she was gonna tell me something and she said, uh, what are you doing? I said, cooking. And she said, what are you cooking? I said, you don't wanna know. <laughs> she said, what are you cooking? I said, squash casserole. She said, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> they love it. I love it too. So uh, anyway, try it out. It's so good. Best squash casserole ever. Um, so um, I will have that recipe in the description below. And uh, also go watch Lee's biscuit video and uh, some of our other videos. Check us out and watch some of our videos we have a great foraging playlist that shows you how to find wild plants that are edible and medicinal and uh, we have some recipes on our channel uh, mostly foraging videos and stuff like that so uh, anyway there you go make this